Hello guys, my name is Afsal. I'm a texturing and loop dev artist. In this video, I'm going to show you my latest personal project, which is a tool creation project in Houdini. I've been doing this for the last couple of weeks uh, during my personal uh, spare times. So yeah, let's uh, create the tool and see what it is. So let's extract with contents. So I have two different nodes. The first one is responsible for import the geometry. Let's import the geometry first and you can play with the initial transformations like uh, scaling and initial rotation. So let's go to our LookDev controller to see what it is. So let's load the camera and uh, let's open the render view to see what it gives right away. So we have all the lights and shaders and we have the uh, human scale, the shadow catcher, the stage and the look day reference and the AOVs. So we have the TT setup. Uh, now you can see it's, it's already enabled and uh, we have uh, for the, the first uh, half of the frame range will be for geometry rotation and the second half will be light rotation and you can even change the frame range and it, the timeline will automatically change and it will split the light and geo rotation automatically and you can even turn off the light rotation and you can just keep the geometry rotation alone and the same way you can uh, just keep the light rotation so yeah this is pretty handy and if you want you can enable local rotation and keep just the local rotation independently and we have our lighting controls as well so i have uh, multiple light rigs and we have some custom hdris as well you need to plug your custom hdris here and you need to select it from the uh, drop down menu so we have our exposure controls intensity controls as well we have our geometry controls so everything is procedural you can just play with the uh, stage radius which is the parent of all the transformations here and you can play with the height or radius whatever it is it will automatically affect the placement of other geos and you can control on its uh, on the particular geometries as well you can you can turn on or turn off the human scale and you can turn off the render visibility if you want you can play with the placement and uh, you can turn on or turn off any particular objects as well we have the look uh, reference and you can change its placement as well according to the screens uh, screen space bottom right or top right or on stage or bottom left right whatever it is so yeah and we have the ground setup as well we have the uh, if you want you can keep this as a plane and you can turn on or turn off the shadow catcher and uh, you can change this to backdrop and you can play with the backdrop settings so if you want you can even work with uh, custom materials as well you can if you turn off the shadow catcher now you can see we have the access to uh, our custom materials yeah, we have our camera controls. If you want, you can just uh, play with your placement of your camera manually and uh, you can change the resolution here quickly. And we have the render settings. You can, you can enable or disable any OVs that you want to debug your tool. And we have the objects here. So, uh, so whatever that's connected here will be render in the render view so if if nothing is connected so it, it won't render anything so if you want to render any extra geometry or any extra light you need to include here so you can even have a uh, hundreds of different look dev setups for different assets and uh, finally we have our look create node so we have our custom material assignment so this will help us to uh, debug some of our material assignments uh, let's say let's select the body geometry here and uh, in order to make sure whether our assignment is working fine you need to just assign a color and see whether it's working or not 
So in this case, it's working fine. And if you want, you can just play with the visibility as well. You can turn off the visibility and you can isolate. So if you notice, so when I change the visibility, so the node's color is changing automatically so that, let's say if you're working on a huge spaceship uh, and we have a hundred soft material assignment node here and you can clearly see what material assigned nodes has the visibility overrides. So, and also when you start assigning your materials, now you can just assign a first material and you can just turn off the visibility and you can see what are all the material, what are all the geometries or bending it. So this is really helpful. You can even play with the wire cords as well. So this is not just a viewport uh, visibility override, so this will affect the renders as well. So let's say I'm going to isolate this and uh, let's launch IPR. And finally, when I reset all the visibility overrides, so the node's color will turn into white so that we don't have any overrides here. And finally, we have the material template. I have uh, two different material builders. One is for texture, the other one is for material. The reason I kept the textures separately is even if we are using hundreds of materials, so I'm going to reference from this texture folder so that if you want to change the texture, you can just change here and it will pick automatically everywhere. You need to include your texture information here like the texture path and the UDM token and the file type so it will automatically pick the texture here. So let's say if I change this to triple S and now you can see the name of the texture changes automatically. So this will really save a lot of time and uh, when I change the path and if you don't want the UDM token, you can just remove this and you can change this to TX and uh, you can dive into this and you can see now everything has changed according to the information that we have given. And when I go to Material Builder, so I have referenced all the, uh, all the textures here so you can play with uh, your material as you want. So, so yeah. That's it for this tool. Thanks for watching.